My name is Tamara Stefanovic. I'm a pianist. I come from a country that doesn't exist anymore. It's called Yugoslavia and I live in Berlin. This project of 20 Sonata is not there to showcase just the, the amazing repertoire we have, but to really showcase what an old form that was used from pre-Baroque that still exists in the 20th century and how this old form casts shadows and how the new composers or the composers of our time in the 20th century use this old form to embody their own vessel of expressions. My idea is to uh, not avoid classical and romantic period that had one of the most extraordinary sonatas sonata forms and sonatas examples, but to see, to kind of clear our ears of what this extraordinary impact of the classical and romantic period did, and to go really from the beginnings of the sonata and to see how they emerged a couple centuries later. I'm usually inspired by forms and structures. So a couple of years ago I did 50 etudes because I thought etude is such a funny, funny term, a study. And I thought that how could this be such an incredible ship of so many creative ideas. And uh, with the sonatas it was really the same. For me, it's also interesting to see how some of the composers like Hindemith and Bartok used really the classical form and to see how even with using an old form they are able to say all they wanted to say about it without copying any of the previous paths. And for me this is always interesting to see how, as Proust said, you know, when you're reading a book is reading yourself. So how do we read the old forms and what does it says about our need, especially in the 20th century, of each one of the composers to say exactly their story about an old form. The breadth of different uh, styles in the 20th century is extraordinary, uh, from Skriabin having those perfumed mysteries and wanting himself to be lost in a labyrinth from uh, Bartok and Hindemith wanting to structure um, to Eisler who is almost like the lost Schoenberg sonata that was never written and Schoenberg really loved this piece. So we end with Ostwalska sonata that it's a testament uh, somehow to an impossibility to go further. Her sonatas are really um, a way to say the unsayable, something that it's beyond the scope of any other expression in the artistic world. I always use projects and especially those tailor-made as this one is for South Bank Center and the International Piano Series. Uh, to be a provocation for me also to dig deep into my archaeological sites and there are many things you find in a site where you think it's wonderful but only in the context of other pieces and there is things that can be put on their own and there are things that belong to a group you know like uh, I lived for a long time in Cologne and every time they would dig up another Roman vase Everyone was amazed, but it was like 150,000 other Roman vases they found. So it's always a question of, is this a piece of a certain period that it's a testament to that context of the time? Will it survive the test of time? And which pieces work well together? And which one I want to highlight the other, but without overshadowing? So it's really a very complex uh, structure. Of course, there are wishes, my own needs to, to play certain pieces, but this should never be um, detrimental to the overall structure because I'm the one taking you on a journey and I cannot lose the time for you to see a flower at the beginning of an exhibition that maybe is just a passing flower before we come to an incredible plant that you've never seen in your world.
I think the amazing thing that Corona has done for all of us is making very visible what the essence of things are. Without art, we're not human. Without discovering art of our time, we can't be called artists. Without being in contact with art of our time and hearing art and especially music that changes literally chemical compounds in your body, you're not member of the society. So it's a give and take. It's not about me playing the sonatas. I haven't written them. I haven't built a piano. I don't have the hall I'm going to build and play in. So for me, it's a teamwork of all of us coming together to give us ourselves a possibility to maybe change something in us so that this life has more of a meaning. And it's a cliche, but without music, we are just performing mechanisms of things that are not essential.